mercy. Please. Jeez. It's a street's voice out west. Legendary self made progress. Last time they got checked. First spent the money to respect and the power in the house come next. Last time. Hell yeah. Look who it is. What's up, guys? What's up, Lee? What's up? Guys, welcome back to the channel. We're over here at Lee's house. We finally made it. Lee, you had work today, huh? Yeah. So Lee had work today. He uh, got his new blow valve here that we're about to install. Here it is. Forge Motorsport, guys. And it is going into 2013 a, Golf R. Yep. A Golf R. So you guys stay tuned. We'll be we'll be doing before and after. I actually called it a blow valve. I'm totally sorry. I'm wrong. It's called a diverter valve. Yeah. Because the air gets circulated. Right? Yeah, yeah. Reused. So it's like reused boost. So a blow off really just lets the boost go as you should. But this one recycles the boost. Okay, see how it I'm sounds. learning as I go too, so hopefully you guys stay yeah. tuned, man. Uh, hopefully it sounds yeah. good because I'm going from uh, 17 pounds of PSI up to 25 to 30 just because I actually have uh, an IE2 Stage 2 Pro. Um, that also come with the uh, the lawn control and some other goodies. Um, let's see how it sounds. There you go, guys. You guys heard it first. Stage two golf R, baby. Diverter valve. We're about to get it done. Stay tuned, guys. Ooh, look at that sexy Z, though. Exhaust clip. This thing is beautiful, guys. Comment down below if you guys want to see more videos of this car, or if you guys are curious about anything. My buddy Lee right here is always working on this Golf R. So, if you guys have any questions, just comment it down below, and then you know we'll have some answers. And here it is, guys. Sounds lovely. Check out the diffuser too. Awesome. Okay, guys, we're actually gonna go for a little run. This clip is just to show you guys how it sounds before we install that diverter valve. Turn up your speakers, do whatever you gotta do. Put in headphones, whatever the hell. You guys wanna get a good, good detail sound clip. Pay attention. You ordered this. Say, guys, this car already sounds good, it sounds perfect the way it is. Yeah. That valve would just make it sound more easy. Yeah. Listen closer. Yeah. I mean, San Diego, California, in general, it's really shitty. Um, if a cop's having a bad day, he can just pull you over and give you a fat fixie ticket for your damn exhaust. So, we like to keep it subtle, too. All right, there it is, guys. That's your little before. We're going to get back in here. Put in some work. So. Let's do it. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. This is actually the Forge Motorsport engineered for performance diverter valve for your golf r right here 
I'm gonna do a little unboxing here. See if I could do a one hand. Just bear with me. Here it is. Forge. Got your manual. There it is, guys. Your valve. Car parts, man. Not cheap. Not cheap. And then, what is this part right here, Lee? Oh, it's just like a little... It's like an adapter piece. Oh, okay. There's a bracket inside of it. Oh, okay, okay. So guys, I really don't know what this piece is. That's why I had to ask Lee right here. <clears throat> but it is a little adapter. It goes with the diverter valve. You guys stay tuned, man. We're going to install this. Yeah. So there's a blue one and the yellow one? Yeah. So this is a blue spring. The yellow one's already in there. Okay. Um, gotcha. I think anything more than 22, 23 pounds, you're supposed to use a blue one. So let me uh, let me look into it. Pay really close attention, guys. I'm even learning myself, so. Repeat that for, for the people, Lee. Um, so this uh, diverter valve kits come with two springs. Um, the yellow one's already in there. Um, supposedly the yellow one is from like, let me see here. It's supposed to push between 15 to 23 uh, pounds of PSI. Um, since my car is a stage two tune, um, I'm running between 25 to 30. So I'm gonna use a blue one instead. Um, the best way, it's actually the yellow ones in there, so you guys can see there. Just basically take them out and just put the blue one in there. Nice. There you go. Perfect. There it is, guys. For the guys in between 25 and 30, yeah. 25, 25 and 30. 30 pounds right here. Remember, blue spring. She's all ready for 30 pounds of boost. <laughs> All the vacuum hoses, that's pretty so good. plenty. Yeah, that should give you a lot. Yeah, that's not. I need all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yep. Nice. Pluck and play. Nice and tight. Perfect. Okay. Just double checking all the instructions. Remember, guys, read the manual. Yeah. Read. Really yeah, read the manual. Just, I mean, it's there for a reason. So, I'm guilty of sometimes trying to install things without reading the manual, and it goes totally, totally wrong. So, learn from my mistake. I'm gonna disassemble the uh, the old diverter valve here and get this out. It's pretty easy. So it's just pretty much just three of those. Four. Four. The ones hidden in the back. Yeah. Four bolts. You guys take it loose to get this thing off. So. So there are bolts in the back that are a little tricky, but you have another pair of hands, so that would be lovely. AKA, make sure you don't drop them. Yep, here's the man. Just take the time and get it out gently. Okay guys, so for this last bolt back here, we're actually gonna have to take out the, uh, the intake. So, just just so it's easier, safe and sorry, right? yeah, easier access, and so that we don't drop this bolt. So we're trying to 
work with this little area, but it's kind of risky. So just play it safe, guys. It's up to you guys. I mean, if, yeah. you, if you drop it, you know, hey. Yeah. Yeah. If you drop it, it's on you, but we're, we're, we're playing it safe right now. So take the time out. Just grab the intake. There you have it, intake box is out. See the bolt? So much easier to get to. Right there. There you go, it's out. That's right. Got her. Right, so stock one is out, guys. We are actually trying to find out best place the to best mount. place to mount this uh, adapter to the diverter valve so I'm trying to figure out the placement right now I'm going off the, the manual so yeah because the, um, the instructions say right up top of the uh, diverter valve that's what it's looking like yeah so I'm just gonna try it and see if it works there. So basically, we're just gonna go in like this. Like that. Uh, that's gonna go in like that. Uh, so that's what it looked like. So. See that? Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. It also come with the uh, the gasket. Uh, I mean the rubber seal. So you make sure you guys put them in there and one up here. So that will seal so you don't have any things Yeah, here. gotcha. Looks like it's gonna make a whole lot of noise. boost noise. That's what we like too. The top one here. It's one vacuum hose. Okay. We'll drink this beer one more time because it's good. Just measuring uh, the vacuum holes right now. Looks cool, doesn't it? Looks way badass than the stock one. Ooh, look at that. but not least so this last one right here to the solenoid is gonna go up to this spot right here it's gonna go up to the spot right here so the way it's gonna sit we're gonna make it go like this like that and this line is gonna go pretty much straight forward and then that should be that that should be done let's see how that goes yep Don't miss this step, guys. You need your gaskets, or else you're gonna have boost leak, and that's gonna be bad. Yeah. All right. So don't forget your gaskets, guys. Okay. And another fun stuff is zip ties. Yep. A car guy's best friend. <laughs> yeah. I think it's gonna be sick. Cause I personally like the way. The stock one sounds already, so this one is that much beastier. This is gonna be awesome.
Nope, we're just getting the bolts right back in. Same three bolts. And then we're gonna mount the adapter. Just like so. Kind of offsets the diverter valve, but yeah. that's kind of uh, how they had it in the manual. So what the manual says we will do. Mm, then we can keep it like that. Yeah, it looks a lot better. There it is. Try not to bend it too much. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this or type of content. Yeah. If you guys like how it sounds before and after, thumbs up guys. And like I said, if you want to see more videos, more informational videos on how to do things, Especially comment down below. Far. Yep. Because there's not very many videos on this chassis, on this platform. So we're going to try and provide that for you guys as best as we can. And like I said, I'm learning too. So we're all in this together. All right. There it is, guys. Beautiful, huh? Forge. Yeah. Yeah, baby. She's in. More zip ties. Can't go wrong. Nope. And make sure the holes doesn't bend too much. Looking Just sick. about right. Looking sick. Looking sick. In. There it is, guys. Oh, Everything is. Everything. Don't forget the uh, the stock diverted valve have like a little clip right here. Um, I know the uh, the forge one doesn't have it, so they give you this a little little cable so you don't get a check engine light. Don't so, forget uh, that, guys. Yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. I mean, you just it's a snap critical on. component here. Yep. Short click, and this is uh, Plug right, right there. In. Boom. Boom. Lock. There it is. That's, that's how she looks, guys forge diverter valve for your golf R. there it is fully installed that's how she looks oh i'm gonna get some uh some sound clips try and see the difference in the sound should be cool guys should be cool Stay nice. tuned. that is the finished product everything is in so we're gonna go ahead and slap the uh, intake box back in Reassemble everything. That's good. Reassemble your intake box. <clears throat> One bolt. And your filter. like so he makes it look easy doesn't he Just I, said it, I said the same thing makes a lot of shit look easy I think I've done it like a dozen of times <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. there it is guys the diverter valve is installed looks lovely the vacuum is flush. There it is, guys. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go for the after run. So you guys can hear the difference. Boosting warm, warm air.
How you like it, Lee? Love it, man. There it is. The man loves it. Uh, I'm actually getting a, a front mount in the cooler uh, from Forge. Hopefully sometime next month or so. See if you guys heard it first, man. And uh, stay tuned because I'll be uh, the one who installed that also. Yep. yep. Forge, big thumbs up, guys. a smile on my face. It's just, I love the sound of turbo. Hell yeah, so am I. Yes, sir. Love me. Love what are your overall thoughts on the forged diverter valve? Uh, sounds a lot better. Actually, it seems like it holds boost a lot better too. So definitely worth it. Um, it's not overly too loud and it's not overly too quiet. I mean, you can definitely, it's noseable from the stock to this one. Yeah. There it is, guys. You guys have a forge diverter valve for the Golf R. That's exactly how it sounds. And hopefully, uh, this little installation instructional video was, you know, useful. It's my first time doing this type of video, so you guys bear with me. There are going to be a lot more, but hopefully, you guys get kind of an idea of how it sounds yeah guys this is again a stage two golf r with a forge diverter valve hopefully you guys like that <laughs> Look, listen, this is what lee has to do to get sound clips this is uh innovative and genius right here under hood sound <laughs> Double-sided, uh, uh 3M tank. Oh yeah, 3M tank, so pretty good. So where it holds it, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Freaking sick. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna do one last run just to get that perfect sound clip. And uh, yeah, after this, we're just gonna wrap up the videos. And that's gonna be it for today. Lee actually has another car he's about to do, so last one right here, so. This is the after clip forge diverter valve on a Golf R2013. R2013. Take two, baby. A, uh, a valve can make a difference. Hey, nice car. <laughs> there it is, guys. Your after video. So, if you guys like the sound of the Golf R, make sure you hit that like and consider subscribing. There's going to be a lot more videos of the Golf R. It pretty much sums it up for this video. Hopefully it's very, very um, educational. <laughs> yeah, educational, uh, instructional, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Maybe. But uh, we did as best as we can to show you guys step by step. Get you guys sound clip before, after, stuff like that. So, and, uh, Thanks, Lee, for having yeah, me come man. over, man. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, yeah. So, this is Lee. You're going to see his face a whole lot on this channel. Again, if you guys are new, my name is Kevin. This is Lee. Consider subscribing, guys. Hit that like button if you like this video. Comment down below whatever questions you guys have. Um, you know, I'll redirect it back to Lee. And then, you know, the master mechanic, he'll, he'll have answers for you guys. So, again, thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you next time. Yeah, see you guys next time. Love you guys. Peace. Yeah.